Namaste. I am with Manga, the famous Hindu in the U.S. Army. We did a we did a episode which went viral, and also with Archana. Uh, she's come all the way from Seattle to this event in Chicago as part of the Infinity Foundation media team, and she's sort of like the producer of our show uh, here in Chicago, organizing all the logistics, all the guests, taking care of every little detail, uh, and 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 very passionate and supportive. So, uh, Manga, what are your thoughts since the in last interview? What what happened and and so on? Tell us. Uh, Namaskar, Rajiv Ji. I'm I'm very happy to be here again with you. I mean, needless to talk about Infinity Foundation. It, it it's it's a miracle organization, and you just picked me up from nowhere, just seeing a little spark, and that interview that went viral actually gave me much more. That spark has grown into a fire. And um, now I have come into because of the recognition that I have received by the viral video, which uh, is your contribution. Uh, it's I have got into a, a new in initiative, which is I am working with the Asian American Coalition for Education, which is fighting uh, discrimination uh, for race neutral admissions in Ivy League schools. This so, is a very important point. So she's now encouraged because of the success on this channel, yeah. which is thanks to you, the viewers, sharing, supporting, contributing in various ways. She is now encouraged to start a whole new whole initiative, empowered to uh, fight these uh, college admissions in the United States where they are discriminating against Asians. Yes. Is that what it is? Yes, it is. Actually, if it, to give a real quick cap on what is exactly happening with uh, to our Asian students and uh, Indian entire Indian community is affected is uh, our students have to score 450 points higher in their SAT scores uh, more than a black student and 270 points more than Hispanic students and 140 points more than uh, a white student and yet there is a stereotyping of our Asian students that they are not uh, good leaders and they lack self-esteem which is not true. So we are having a rally on October 14th to protest and 15th is the hearing in the code for the case uh, for the Harvard. Okay, so just to keep summarizing, so because there is a negative stereotype that our people, Indian people, lack self-esteem and lack leadership training, lack leadership, which is a very subjective judgment. What do you mean by self-esteem? I mean, is it that if you go like a Rambo macho guy, then you have self-esteem? I mean, if you're a quiet fellow, you may have a lot of self-esteem. But somebody has made up their mind on, based on stereotypes that because Indians lack self-esteem and leadership, therefore, well, come on, we have CEOs of some of the biggest tech companies who are Indians, so certainly we don't lack leadership skills. So, but given that stereotype, we have to, our people have to score hundreds of points higher in order to be considered equal. So we have to be better at them in all these tests results to compensate for our deficiency in self-esteem and leadership. This is racism. Yes. This is Ivy League racism. This is Harvard racism. It's just not Harvard. It is University of uh, uh, Berkeley, California. Okay, which is supposed to be the liberal place. Well, Berkeley, California, if you are truly a liberal place, then you should treat everybody as equal, not stack the deck against somebody. So this is prejudiced against our people. We have to, this is like in India, we have this quota system. So if you are not from the right kind of community and jati and caste and all that branding, then you know, you have to do more, you have to do extra well to get in. So here we are being discriminated in the United States, in the prestigious universities. Yes, and the stereotyping is ju just an excuse and the affirmative action which was created in 1964 was created to encourage minority groups to get into elite colleges and uh, universities. And now our population has exploded and yet we, we are being held to the same quota system uh, uh, since 1964 and it has not. And even after our students have scored that much higher even though their bar is, I mean, set that high, yet even when they have qualified, now they trigger 
the quota system of uh, affirmative action of 1964 and they therefore they still don't make it so you know we need it's leaders double like discrimination. this we need leaders like this when we are talking about all kinds of issues at a scholarly level and bringing it out through my books and through videos and so on the whole idea is to inspire young leaders like her to take this war onto the streets so you are going to you are joining this coalition and what you are going to do some is the legal case it, it is a legal, legal case. case that's happening and, and then there is some uh, protest somewhere yes uh, on october 14th we are having a rally in boston uh, i'll where definitely would it share be? In, share in the, harvard or where uh, not in the, near the harvard i mean i uh, uh, i don't know the exact location right now it's being the logistics are being worked out and i can share the flyer uh, definitely for uh, everybody is viewing i will share the flyer and we need the support and I think we need to break the stereotyping that our students are not uh, uh, having s self-esteem and they are not leaders. I need, I need all the support from the youth to come forward to say, no, we are leaders. We See, are Hindu leaders. We are not leaders in making bombs and making threats and going violent and all that stuff. We are not leaders. So of course, we are not leaders. But we are leaders in the tech industry, we are leaders in medicine, we are leaders on Wall Street, we are leaders as musicians, we are leaders as artists, we are leaders as writers and intellectuals. I mean, we are leaders in so many areas which are constructive contribution to the American way. And we have been contributing so much to US uh, culture and civilization. So this business of some narrow-minded criteria of who's a leader and who's not a leader is just baloney. I mean, thus we won't accept it. We'll fight it, and uh, and we are so support us, so we can support her, and we will continue to do this uh, f for as long as it takes. So, Archana, what is your uh, experience uh, in this in this uh, conference? Uh, looking at so much support that we've generated. Now, tell us about it. Rajivji, thank you so much. I, me coming all the way from Seattle here is the direct result of your work. Um, I got on that plane and came here. It was such an honor the moment I got the opportunity. And um, having come here, I, it, I, I knew this all along, but I think it is uh, you know, stronger emphasis in my mind now how important it is that I owe this to myself and to my kids and their kids, where they come from, what the value of their heritage is, and change the narrative both in my mind as well as their minds and in the minds of the few people that I'm able to influence around me. So in, to that regard, please support Infinity Foundation so we can continue to support people like uh, Mangala Ma'am and then uh, continue to support our work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Archana. That was wonderful words. I think needless to say, Infinity Foundation is one of the organizations yes. that support the real cause of our establishing either identity or heritage or protecting our rights. I think they are doing a right thing and it, it's our duty and responsibility to be supporting organizations and uh, the cause that Rajiv Ji is doing. You know, you have bring, you have made a small spark in me, a fire. There are so many little sparks out there and all we have to do is find that spark and Rajiv Ji and I'm going to bring them to you to make that fire. That's what we need as a community. And that's exactly what you're doing and giving for the community. We so are this so is, indebted. So this is, this is, this illustrates the impact. The real world impact is right here before you. Thank you very much uh, for your participation and for all your support and all the great work you're doing. And we'll continue this. Uh, we are doing, we are doing some amazing things. Uh, which will be announced as the days, weeks, months go by uh, with these wonderful people. Thank you so much. Namaste.